So first of all, contents, volume, color, transparency, order, reactions, specific gravity. These particles we study under physical examination of urine sample. First one is volume. The daily output of urine normally adult is 1200 ml to 1500 ml per 24 hours. The amount may be altered in some conditions. Suppose first was anuria. The complete suppression of urine formation is called anuria. Anuria is found in acute nephritis, renal stone, blood transfusion, mercury poisoning, etc. Next one is polyuria. The urine volume more than 2000 ml per day is called polyuria. Polyuria found in diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, chronic glomerulonephritis, etc. Last one is oliguria. The urine volume less than 500 ml per day is known as oliguria. Oliguria, oliguria found in severe dehydration, fever, cardiac failure, vomiting and diarrhea, acute glomerulonephritis, etc. Next one is color. The urine normally pale yellow, clear and transparent. Because of presence of urochrome and urethrin, but sometimes it may be changed due to some disorders. So you can see I divided divided three co three column: color, substance present, and diseases. So first one is white or cloudy urine, is called pyuria. Excess phosphate present in urine. Next one is milky white color urine is called chyluria that means fat particles present in urine sample next one is bright reddish is called frank hematuria that means rpc or hemoglobin present in urine next one is greenish to deep yellow is called jaundice that means bile salt or bile pigment present in urine sample last one is blackish color urine is called alkaptonuria that means hemogenesis and acid and melanin present in urine. Next one is transparency. Freshly voided normal urine is clear and transparent. Some disorder the urine may appear turbid or hazy due to the presence of phosphates, pus cells, bacteria, chylomicrons, etc. You can see left side is clear urine sample and right side one is cloudy or hazy urine sample. Next one is odor or smell. Freshly passed normal urine has an aromatic smell. Abnormality found in case of some disorder, suppose ammonical smell, smell, decomposition of protein in urine, suppose sweet, sweet smell, presence of kidney body in urine sample, suppose fruity smell, diabetes condition or diabetes sample, diabetes patient. Next one is unpleasant that means bacterial infection in urine sample. Next one is reaction or pH. Normally urine is slightly acidic in reaction. Range is 5.8 to 6.8. Average pH is 6.0. So pH is determined by different methods. Suppose litmus paper, pH meter, pH paper. Sometimes it becomes slightly alkaline. Sometimes urine it becomes slightly alkaline due to the suppression of HCl in stomach. But normally urine is slightly acidic in reaction. 
So you can see one diagram is there. This one is litmus paper. Uh, suppose blue turning red. You can see blue turning red is called acidic. If red turning blue is alkaline and no changes, the litmus paper is called neutral. The last one is specific gravity. Normally, urine specific gravity varies from 1.015 to 1.060. It indicates the amount of solid substances present in the urine. The uh, specific gravity determined by urinometer or reflectometer. You can see their right side urinometer figure diagram. So suppose disorder causing high specific gravity of urine and disorder causing low specific gravity of urine. What is the reasons? So if high specific gravity of urine, that means one point more than one point zero six zero. There are different conditions, suppose acute nephritis, hematuria and hemoglobinuria, excessive sweating, fever, diarrhea. If less than 1.015 or a low specific gravity, this, this condition is called chronic nephritis, diabetes insipidus, hypertension with renal involvement, etc. Thank you.